Well, the magic wand was used by the Druids, uh, the Druid culture of Europe. And I told you that before, northeast, western, southern Europe were Druidic. And Druids were, you know, the, the, the part of Europe that we Americans come from originally was from Europe. And so you take the north, east, west, and south, which you spell N-E-W-S, which is news. You get the news. Anything that happens in the north, east, west, and south is N-E-W-S, news. And so you find out that if you do some research, go to the web if you want, and, and type uh, and go to uh, image where you'll only see pictures, just image. And then type in Druid high priest, Druid religion and Druid priest. And then look at the way the ancient Druids in Europe dressed. They were holy men. They were the holiest of holy men in European culture. They were the lawyers, the doctors, the judges the religious leaders, all the important people who led the Europeans for thousands of years were had to be had to belong to a society called the Druids. And one of the most important symbols in the Druid religion was a magic wand. Why? Because the like Mickey Mouse with his magic wand and Merlin the magician from England with his magic wand. And today we have orchestra conductors and musical conductors who lead the music with a magic wand. Well, magic wands were always made out of the wood of a holly tree. It's made out of Hollywood. And today we have uh, magic of Hollywood. Why? It's Druids who are running Hollywood. But the Druids, if you look in the encyclopedia, go on the web to image and type in Druid priest and you'll see how the Druid priests were dressed and take out all those pictures and save all the pictures of all the high priests of the Druids and how they dressed and what they believed etc then go to the, the web to image and type in Jewish high priest it's identical the pictures are identical uh, er everything that the, that the Druids taught is what the Jews taught Everything that the Druids wore, their, their high priests and their religious services and their religious uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, instruments, all of the holiness of the Druid people is Jewish. So therefore, now you say, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a connection between the Druids and Judaism? Yeah. Well, the, the most important, impressive uh, peoples in the Druid community were the Germans. And the Germans, going all the way back thousands of years, Germanis, the Germanic race of people, the Germans, and then you start to see, for the first time, a connection between the ancient peoples called the Germans and the Druids. And then you see the connection between the Druid, the Druids and the Jews. Now you become to see... The, the connection between the high priests of the Germanic people and the Druids who were the high priests of the Germanic people and today the, the, the religious garb and, and religious uh, implications of the clothes of the Jewish high priest. So the bottom line is that there is a very ancient, old and hidden connection between the Druids and the Jews, the Jewish people. And there's an extremely ancient and dark, uh, hidden connection between the Jewish people and the Germans. The Germans are the ancient Jews, and the ancient Jews are the Germans. And they both come out of the old, uh, old Germanic uh, Druid Empire. So that Judaism today is a totally different religion than you think it is as its, its history has zero, nothing to do with the Middle East. There was no Middle Eastern Israel and the holy people of God, and all of that is a story. Just like the Bible is called the greatest story ever told. Now go back and look at the connection between the Druid peoples of Europe and the German people of Europe, who today we call them the Germans today, is referred to as 
the Holy Empire, the Holy Roman Empire was was centered in Germany. But the Holy Roman Empire centered in Germany was based on what we call Judaism. Mm. So that the Jews, the Germans, and now you get into the dark religion of the Jews in relation to the Germans. Mm. 